Now we need to talk about net force. If more than one force is acting on an object like you see in this picture here, 30 newton force and a 100 newton force. If more than one force is acting, we have to figure out the net force. And in this equation, F equals MA, the value we put in there for F is what we call the net force. And I'll explain exactly what we mean. This is an important concept, net force. So take a look at this example. Two forces act on this mass as shown. Here's a mass, 20 kilograms, and 30 newtons is pulling it this way, and 100 newtons is pulling it to the right. So obviously the 100 newton force is going to win. It's bigger, so this thing is going to accelerate to the right. But it won't accelerate to the right as fast as it would if it were just the 100 newton force by itself. This 30 newton force over here is holding it back some. So it will end up accelerating to the right, you can probably see intuitively, the same as if we just had the mass by itself with a 70 newton force to the right. 100 newtons to the right and 30 to the left combine to produce a net effect that is the same as 70 newtons to the right. So in this case we can say the net force is 70 newtons and specifically in this case it's to the right and that's apparent in the drawing there because we have the arrow pointing that way. So if we want to do the calculation and find the acceleration we'll say A is equal to F over M and what the number we put in for the force is the net force. So it will be 70 newtons divided by the mass of 20 kilograms and 70 divided by 20 is 3.5 so that's our answer 3.5 and it's 3.5 meters per second squared. Now because it is the net force that really matters Newton's second law is commonly written like this F net equals MA and just subscripting net down there indicates that you're talking about the net force and that's really the way it should be written even if you don't write it that way you should think of it that way in the equation F equals MA the force that you put in is always the net force and if you really want to write it correctly you'll put your little arrows over the F and the A indicating that those are vector arrows. So that's a, a really good way to write Newton's second law. It's succinct, it contains a lot of information, it's accurate, and it's thorough. You're describing the fact that F and A are both vectors, you're describing the fact that it's the net force that matters, and in this equation mathematically all the concepts are contained. This equation contains the idea that the acceleration is going to be bigger if you have a bigger force, and smaller if you have a bigger mass. All of those ideas are summed up in that one tiny little equation. Newton's second law of motion.